Jo Kitching, CEO of Doorway in Chippenham, and we support homeless people in Wiltshire. Um, we recently received a grant of £15,000, uh, which was unrestricted, um, and that, uh, that kept us going over three years. The grant has made a difference to us because we've been able to add another service, which is particularly for people who are rough sleeping, um, and they are the ones that struggle the most, and they really do need us to be there as, as often as we can be. And the feedback that we've had from them particularly has been that it's been great that we're now available for more time, um, more sessions during the week, and we really couldn't have done that without this uh, grant funding. So my name is Charlie Richards. I am currently working as a marketing assistant, and I am a recent graduate um, from Coventry University. I studied photography, and I received a education bursary of one thousand six hundred pounds for the second two years of my photography course. The grant made a huge difference to me because it gave me the time to consider my options post-graduation. It gave me the freedom to explore extracurricular activities and courses, which definitely helped me secure my job and get to where I am today. Um, it also helped me a lot when um, when we were in COVID and my mum couldn't afford to, and I couldn't afford to have a desk at home, so I didn't have anywhere to work. She's a single mother. She's a carer for my grandparents. She suffers from Crohn's disease as well. I feel very lucky that I was able to dedicate the time to my course and develop as an artist and get to where I am today. My name is Robin Imsen. I'm the director of the youth charity Rise 61. Um, we were delighted to receive £4,960 community grant um, to fund our feasibility study. So we started here in our bike hub because um, so many young people on the estate love bikes. Um, and we've also now got an active hub with doing fitness stuff and a creative hub doing lots of um, creative stuff and we do detach work on the estate and we run a community garden. We have been dreaming about having our own youth hub facility um, with the young people for many years. Um, a lot of our work is either in places like this that we run off grid um, and it gets a bit difficult in the winter so having our own facility that is warm, safe, is completely for the young people, designed by the young people, where they feel really welcome, will have a transformational uh, effect on the estate because young people are always saying, we've got nowhere to go, no one wants us, we've got nothing to do. And I think having a, a really amazing um, youth hub facility will change uh, their lives. Hello, my name's Belinda Chandler. I'm the hub manager for Arts Together. And uh, I wanted to say what a big difference the Partage to Trust funding through Wiltshire Community Foundation has made to our organisation. We were able to actually develop a programme that included hybrid learning and teaching, um, a mixture of letters, phone calls, and Zoom um, workshops. And this came at a time when probably 10% of our members had tried Zoom in the past and we were able to actually develop this sort of whole programme from scratch for them and really take them through to, I suppose, a new level of confidence with digital technology and feel part of a community again at a time when there was a great deal of isolation um, as a result of the lockdown. So the uniting factor at Arts Together for our group members is that um, they all need a little bit of extra support. Uh, many of them have had sort of crises of confidence where they um, have become very isolated or frail or vulnerable in their homes. We, we feed everyone at the end of our morning so that there's a real bonding um, community session at the end of a workshop. And we encourage people to make friendships that are meaningful and lasting. My name is Zoe Meaden, I'm Community Manager at Trowbridge Future. We received a grant of £5,000 a year over three years. The grant helps us to make a difference to people's lives through a number of projects that we run, such as our kindness cafes which help to combat loneliness and isolation. We run weekly community fridges which are about feeding bellies, not bins, um, providing unsold food waste to people within the community, tackling uh, food poverty and hunger 
area within the community. Um, we also run weekly drop-in sessions where people can just come and sit, like public living room, they can have a cup of tea and a biscuit and meet people. It's really important that we're here for the people that we support because it gets them out of the house, it tackles uh, loneliness and isolation, it helps them with their general well-being and mental health and helps them to feel connected within the local community and that they have a life that's fulfilled and worth living.